Yo, I'm having a bit of a rest right now. Um, I'll quickly talk you through the past days. I came here on Monday with a, um, a good session, which five minutes at three times five minutes at race pace on the parkour. Um, it's in Coxeide, it's of course in Belgium, but it's two hours away from my, my home. It's the Belgium Time, time Trial Championship. Um, I decided to come here early. Um, we rented an apartment. I'm in the apartment with um, my girlfriend Fanny. She's mostly taking care of the cooking. Um, a lot of thanks for that. Um, my dad is here with the motorbike and also Sarah van der Vel. Um, it's a triathlete, female triathlete. And um, she starts to do some time trials now and she's a big, big contender for the national uh, title um, uh, in time trial. I'm happy to, to help her a bit with that. It's a cool project. And um, so we've been here three days before the championship to do the recon as much as possible. It's kind of busy. There are a lot of um, cyclists on the parkour, um, just rec recreational cyclists. So it's not super easy to recon uh, super well. But in the morning now we did um, the best possible recon. Uh, it was raining, so uh, it will be a bit different than uh, the sunny afternoon but I know all the corners by heart. I'm looking forward. My back is healing up nicely. I think if I perform bad in the time trial, it will be because of um, not having the perfect week coming into the uh, time trial. Um, but the, the pain at this moment is not really a problem. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, to go for it it's interesting um, cool to get my time machine out again but I'm not a favorite it's new for me going to the national champs as not as a favorite uh, lately in Belgium the temporal level has gone up crazy uh, Remco and Wout are such a super high level at this moment Remco um, crashed out in Lombardia, a bad crash, could have been worse, but um, when you break your hip, that's really not good for the cyclist. Um, so he will not be here, but Wout is here, he's for sure the big, big favorite. Um, he might be putting minutes um, in the other riders. Uh, let's hope, let's hope I can, can get as close as possible and I try to kick his ass. Um, try to be as aero as possible, try to ride as fast as possible, do whatever I can. I think Thomas Agent will be my biggest contender, um, he is the closest to my level. Um, but we also have some other guys like Frederik Frison or uh, Jonas Rikard, he just won a race on an impressive way. Um, yeah, it, will be, it will be interesting, I hope Jeffke has a time to make some um, some videos of the warming up everything. It's not too hot. It looked like it would be super hot, um, like it has been super hot in Belgium. Um, but the heat will not be a problem. Parkour is kind of uh, nice. There are some bad roads, but that's uh, that's also cycling. We don't always ride on highways with new tarmac. Um, I think it's a fast parkour. We will be over 50k an hour average for sure. Cool. Thanks a lot. Maak ik achter alint of niet? Denk het wel, hè? And close followers of the channel already know you, eh? He know. Yeah. Hi, man. Yo. I'm Jeff. Oh, hey, Jeff. Yeah, hi. Good to be here, Victor. Your Victor's uh, team coach. Yeah. What's the pacing schedule gonna be like? Fast. 
full gas. Details? No details? Uh, I think if, if Victor wants to tell the details, he can tell the details. But we've worked on a good recon. He knows the course well. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Gangsta. Ready to rob a bank. Like a cab driver, eh? Taxi driver! Come on, my car! Marie, what are you doing? Marie! Liefje! <laughs> Wood for wood van Ert. Doe je dat supporter? Ja. Zo so, Wout van Ert kicked mij yesterday in uh, the Belgium National TT Championship. As you can see, he's wearing the tricolore. Congratulations, Wout. I think um, you were the strongest today. I think uh, that's. It's, a, it's an honor to beat you. The the one and only world record holder. Uh, 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 thank you. Are you ready for the Tour de France? Yeah, I think so. Huh? And what about the final final time trial in the Tour de France? I think it's way too hard for me, so uh, I'm gonna look as much as possible down to enjoy the jersey and, uh, <laughs> yeah, and uh, finish off a nice Tour de France. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good. I think uh, with uh, the legs you showed up in the Dauphiné, um, we are all looking forward as Belgians to see you shine in the Tricolore in the final. Thanks. Uh, good luck in the tour to your whole team. Thank you. National time, uh, time trial championships are over. I was second place. Um, of course, I like to win races. I want to win. I've been two times national champion already. Um, but um, now the superhumans are there. Um, Wout van Aert is in a super good shape. I was not able to kick his ass. Um, I was also not prepared perfectly due to a back injury. I got uh, while crashing in Czech not so long ago. I was happy that I could uh, race on the nationals. Um, and to be honest, my back didn't hurt during the time trial anymore. Um, also, I, I was really, um, I had a lot of adrenaline in my body because I want to perform. Um, if I had a leg or if I would perform less because of my back, it would be because the preparation was not as it should be the week before. I had to change the trainings a lot. Um, but it was a good race. Um, uh, I think I did a really good time trial. I was 30 seconds down on Van Aert. I had a really good final. Um, like, I always was progressing in speed, progressing in watts. Um, that's not really how it should be. Maybe I should started, have started a bit, little bit faster, but um, that's something I know now for the European champs coming up. Um, European Championships are coming soon, I'm really motivated and I think I have a big shot of winning over there. It will not uh, be easy of course. I think Stefan Kung and Eduardo Affini are the hardest guys to beat, but I will do whatever I can. Um, okay, perfect. Thanks thanks a lot again to um, Fanny that took care of me um, the whole time. Um, my dad was with a the motorbike there. Um, thanks a lot to uh, 
to the team for organizing, to, to Kirian to guide me perfectly through the turns and as always um, Suarez prepares my bike high end perfectly, he will always be with me in the national championships, uh, in the European championships, looking forward to that and Jeffco was there also, super cool. Uh, in de vlog, het is niet mogelijk. De, de dromen komt uit in de vlog. Wat haakt hij? Wat? Dit is de melkerie. En wie is Harm van Hoeken? Xandro, are you from the melkerie? No, not from the melkerie. Guest rider. Normally, normally there is only one guest rider every ride, I thought. I have to pay for <laughs> <laughs> Is this the key? Stoppen, stoppen voor belegde broden. <laughs> okay, as you can see, now it's in Belgium time. Um, one day before the European Champs. I did the recon yesterday in wet weather and it was already a super nice parkour. Now let's do it in dry weather. Today, probably tomorrow, it will also be dry. I really like the parkour, I'm super motivated. Uh, I think my biggest opponents are Stefan Kuhn and Eduardo Affini. Um, maybe Ryan Mullen, um, Alex Dowsett, always good in championships. You'll see, but I, I think I am, I can be up there for the win. It would be my third time that I would become um, a European champion if I would win this. Um, and European champion, it's only the fifth time they organize it for professional riders. Um, so that would be some kind of a deal. Uh, today I do my final recon. We will do some some uh, race preparation. It's doesn't involve too much, it's 3 times 1 minute at race speed, 3 times 1 minute about 450 watts. Um, I do like one repetition in a hill, on a hill, one repetition on a flat road, and one repetition that involves some corners, something like that. I might do a bit behind the motorbike to get some speed in the legs. Uh, it's just a bit like listen to the body, uh, feel what you need. It's only about 1 hour 30, um, not too much. This morning I did a bit on the rollers with my breathing mask to do some activation of the breathing muscles. Um, yeah, I should be, I should be ready, ready to rumble. Um, the parkour is interesting because the, I should take care of a good pacing strategy because the, the hardest part is the first part, like the first 15k of only a short course. Uh, Europeans are, since last year, they decided they always want to do short attractive time trials, short attractive road races. The time trial is 25k, the road race is 170k. Those are, it's not sh super short, but it's short for the uh, championship. Um, but in the time trial, the, the hardest part, the most uphill, the, the hardest uphill sections are in the beginning of the race. And in the final of the race, there's a long 5k, long drag downhill. Um, and as you guys know, it's hard to make up time or to ride away when it's downhill. And it's, it's more easy to battle against gravity, that's a lot more... Um, rewarding so for me it's important to find my good pacing strategy because i normally um, am a good finisher so now i have to focus on starting really really right on i will add a bit of uh, intervals in my warm-up i will do a warm-up of 19 minutes normally my warm-up is about 15 14 minutes short warm-up uh, now a bit just a little bit more in the warm-up, just opening up the legs, getting the heart rate a bit higher, that I'm ready to go right away from the start. <laughs> 